Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. As you can see it's 100% but there's still one thing left. Level 7 Dark Star. If I were to have continued the last part where I was, I wouldn't have been able to show you this planet because after you beat the um, final boss of this level, well it's not the final boss but I mean the boss of level 6, it immediately takes you to level 7 immediately and you can't see the planet of it. And I wanted to show the planet, so that's the planet. <laughs> you orbit it kind of like a sun of sorts in this solar system of things, I guess. Anyway, let's start Dark Star. There's only one level in this. It is the final level in the game and it's pretty short. You'll, you'll see that the only enemies of this place are NZs, which kind of implies that NZs are made out of dark matter. Uh, that, or at least that's what I'm thinking anyway, but because you know since they're, they're the only ones here and yeah, you get the idea. It's a very, very short stage and it's very easy. In fact, I don't really see you having any issues with this whatsoever. So what are you watching my walkthrough for? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the final boss is coming up and it is a spectacular one. Mmm, nummy, yum, nummy, nummy, you one up. Anything back here? No, okay. I just want to make sure I can, you know, see what's over there because I can't see the entire edge of the screen. And prepare yourself. Here we go. The traditional disturbing finale Kirby boss. Yeah, you form this spectacular combination known as the Fairy Wings Power Shard ability. What I want you to do is circle around this boss, his name is Zero Two, and try and get shards in his eye. You shoot by pressing the B button, and it's very, very simple. Just avoid his blast, that's why I'm circling like this. And you'll notice that when you hit his eye, it actually bleeds! Yeah, this is truly not kid-friendly. <laughs> And it's funny, the way this boss's name is written, it's written as zero squared, like it has a little two next to the zero, which obviously is an impossibility, because you know, you can't square zero. I mean, of course you could try squaring zero, but you're not going to get anywhere. <laughs> but I, I don't recommend doing that just, you know, so the universe won't implode and stuff like that. Uh, you can tell that your shots have like a, oops, homing ability of sorts, but you still have to get his eye to like sort of move into your shots in a way otherwise it'll escape your shots yeah you get what I'm what I mean here yeah well if you play it yourself maybe I'm gonna try shooting something like this like off to the side and just yeah you're kinda like in a 3d space it's hard to explain how this actually feels but yeah <laughs> uh, once you hit him enough times in the eye and make him bleed enough he will actually get stunned, and then you'll be able to shoot the halo on his head. And I'll, I'll explain further into this boss uh, once I get to that point, because there's a little bit of trivia I hear more about him that some people might not know. Come on, this is taking forever. <laughs> just nick him in the eyeball, and just think, all those crystal shards we are getting, we're just shooting him right into his eye. Okay, maybe these aren't the actual crystal shards, but more like a energy blast of the crystal shards themselves. That's probably why um, Zero Two here wanted the crystal shards to begin with, because they were uh, a power source, or at least to destroy them so the power source couldn't be used against him, one of the two. Come on! This is kind of annoying. <laughs> Get, shoot, the eye, there we go, it's getting better. Getting the hang of this. <laughs> It's been a while since I played this boss, so don't mind me, just as long as I don't take too many hits. I'm okay. This boss isn't all that hard, just as long as you keep dodging its shots. And come on, just gotta hit him in the eye enough times. Maybe I should... There we go. Okay, now he's gonna dip forward. Now you wanna get up to the top of the screen and start shooting, like that. And now he's gonna go crazy. Notice that band-aid on his head? That, that might be... Um, this, this creature might actually be Zero from Kirby's Dream Land 3, but you see when you stun him like that, you can go all the way around him. What I'm doing here is I'm shooting off his wings, if I can. There we go. See, what this does is it really slows him down, and I'll be able to shoot that halo without stunning his eye first. So now I can go above him. See that? 
Now I'm gonna have an extremely easy time with this boss. Just keep going up, keep going up. See that you can't keep up with me because we're in this 3D space. And now I can start shooting that. <laughs> and that fan, they might be where um, Zero's eye was in Kirby's Dreamland 3. So Zero 2 here might actually be a Zero's reincarnation as uh, shown, like because he's got like an angel-like appearance as well as having that halo. Anyway, to damage him, you just have to get under him now after hitting his halo and hitting that thorn-like protrusion underneath him. And that's pretty much it for the boss. I think you got the idea of it. So I'm going to all the way up. And it's pretty easy to shoot his eye now once you get rid of his wings as well because he's not nearly as speedy. There we go. And I should be able to hit the halo. And there we go. Get under him. By the way, those green spews of whatever that are coming from his backside or underside, they do hurt you, so you got to circle around them. And he does aim directly for you. So it's nothing all that different from what you've already been doing. You know, in the first phase and whatnot. Uh, so close, so close, got him! That is how it's done! Woo! Dark matter is gone! But knowing Kirby, it'll be back. <laughs> And now we are awarded with Crystal Shards. Dang it! We just got those back, now they're splitting them up again. <laughs> oh! Aww! Oh. Uh-oh! <laughs> and that's how the game ends. And we are treated to the credits once again! Yeah, the, the credits we've seen the first time were when you didn't have all the Crystal Shards and whatnot. Again, extremely fun game, but very short, which is too bad. <laughs> but it's definitely worth playing. Now, I still wonder if these are like concept art, or if they're just like special art for the credits they made, just to give you something pretty to look at, I suppose. Because, you know, we got some watercolors and pencil-like designs of areas and enemies of the game. It's like there's like a Waddle Dee on a Spire sketch. Nice details, I have to say, but, you know, credits are credits. <laughs> oh, by the way, the uh, the ruler of Ripple Star is known as Queen Fairy. Yeah, it's kind of a generic name, but that's her name. Don't worry about it. Ah, DDD. Could, we couldn't have done it without you. Even though you were reluctant to help, you were one of our greatest assets. I think DDD knew that... Um, Dreamland was in peril. Well, Popstar was in peril in general, as well, well as the whole solar system around here, so that's why he went and helped, even though he was reluctant to do so at first because, you know, him and Kirby are rivals. And there's Wispy Woods Jr. Uh, sadly, Wispy Woods will always be the easiest boss. See, there's Zero, uh, Zero Two there with his eye bleeding there. So it's not. It, it really was, quite literally, blood coming out of his eye there, except it was, you know, more animated in 3D and stuff like that. And now we get go back to the title screen, and we unlocked some poop, of which I'm going to show you in the next part. We've got a whole bunch of stuff here. I'll be starting with the mini-games, then going through the other stuff and the extras. I'm sure you can pretty much tell what uh, the majority of this stuff is just by the titles of it, but I'm gonna go through it anyway, just for the fun of it. So... Oh! Whoa, wait, wait, wait! One more thing! I didn't want to show this during the battle with Zero Two here, because it would kind of ruin the flow of it, but if you act, if you pause the game, it'll actually tell you something different. In, rather than uh, it having try again, you know, to let you go back to the uh, level select screen, it'll actually have tough it out, and if you click tough it out, it has the same result as clicking continue. So, when you go here, they want you to stick with it to the end. And with that, I did stick with it to the end and beat the whole game 100%. So I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.